excited about Outlander. I picked it as my number one show of 2014. It was that exciting. And your role, as we know from the books, is going to be expanding pretty quickly here. Yeah. So what can you tease is going on with her? I mean, we got the trials coming up. <laughs> yeah. So Gayla's in the first chunk of the first season. You've seen, you know, that she can be kind of playful, and there's probably stuff going on that you don't know about behind the scenes. And then there's a lot that's going to be revealed, especially episode 11, I it was so much fun to shoot that, but yeah, you're going to see sides of her that you haven't seen before, and it's going to be pretty wicked. <laughs> well, they think that the witchcraft could be kind of an elementary show. I mean, they got time travel after all. So, would you describe maybe she's got some special abilities? Oh, sorry, was that? Does your character have some special abilities along those lines? She, yeah, there's a, you know, the game does have special abilities. I think there's also something really human that comes out, even though, you know, she likes to play around. tension there and so they're put on, they're being put under a lot of pressure so um, and the way she then acts out is kind of really interesting so, I mean I haven't seen anything myself it was just awesome to play those scenes so I'm excited to see it <laughs> were you a little worried when you got cast in this role like oh my god you're gonna do what to me I'm gonna do uh, that sounds crazy <laughs> I'm gonna what? well they're doing so many crazy things with your character so right. it's kind of extreme <laughs> were you at all worried about it when you read about I was not worried. I was uh, mostly really honored and excited when I got the part because obviously you want to do all those things. It's an actor's dream to do the wicked stuff and the unexpected stuff and like to play a colorful character. So, I mean, I wear red shoes in real life as Galas does. So, yeah, I totally resonated with the character. Although, Galas does go a lot further than I would in real life about certain aspects and certain areas of her life. So, you know, but she's, she's feisty. She's, she's determined. Well, I could never quite clearly determine if she had an altruistic meaning or motive for wanting to befriend Claire, or if she just genuinely was seeking like a friendship. I think she wanted to be friends with Claire, um, but there's also a reason. Galas never does anything just for one reason. She's always on a on a mission, so there's definitely that going on too. Well, it always struck me that she might be a little lonely, and she just needed somebody to really bond. With. Well, yeah, as you've seen the world of Outlander, it's mostly men. Get ready. <laughs> Get ready. The little masks are coming. 